coming up on today's episode of Airborne Unlimited. Breaking news, the RV-15 is flying. Scalebird's P-36 radial engine replica is flying. Highway landings advance combat agility. Welcome to Airborne Unlimited. I'm your host, Holland Lee. Let's get into today's stories. Breaking news, the RV-15 is flying. Vans Aircraft is now flying the engineering prototype of the RV-15, their first high-wing bird, announced at Oshkosh last year. Vans just published a very short video of a test flight on YouTube and set the sport aviation community on fire. The video shows N7357 conducting a pretty short takeoff followed by nearly a minute of in-flight beauty shots. Vans is saying little, quote, this airplane was built to evaluate and test the design, and what we've been learning from this engineering tool test airplane will result in refinements and changes that will appear in the final kit aircraft design, end quote. A Vans rep also declared that they are not yet taking kit orders. Quote, this is the engineering prototype from which we will develop the kit airplane. We will take orders once we know when kits can be delivered. That takes some time, end quote. Uh, what we've announced to date is that it will be a high wing, all metal, backcountry capable airplane. Uh, the initial version will be a tailwheel uh, with a tricycle version to follow. Uh, it will have a control stick, not a yoke. So, so those are some of the things that we have said uh, and we're super excited about it. Um, it's, uh, I'm, I'm really looking forward to building one, I can tell you that, and flying it. Vans has a forum at Oshkosh on Tuesday in which more extensive details are expected to be announced. After the break, NASA reestablishes contact with Capstone spacecraft. Aviation Safety Resources is disrupting the market for aircraft emergency parachute recovery systems. ASR systems are smaller, lighter weight, and offer longer repack cycles than similar products available in the current market. ASR has a recovery system available for every type of aircraft. Sport, experimental, light sport, general aviation, urban air mobility, vertical takeoff and landing, electric propulsion, and unmanned aerial systems. Find the right product for your aircraft at AviationSafetyResources.com. In Diamond Aircraft, innovation is in our DNA. Whether you're taking to the skies for training or business travel, every aircraft in Diamond's lineup features innovative technology, an industry-leading safety record, superior performance and efficiency, and a comfortable flying experience. No other company has pioneered as many aviation firsts, achieved more milestones, or received the same amount of industry praise as Diamond. Discover why Diamond Aircraft is one of the most trusted manufacturers in aviation at diamondaircraft.com. Well, hello, fellow pilot. I'm John King. And I'm Martha King. You know, we've all had our flying lives disrupted lately. Well, King Schools is here to help you stay up to date with courses that you can access on your desktop, iPad, or iPhone. If you'd like a refresher or just want to expand your aviation horizons, we have a course for you. So head over to kingschools.com slant rusty today for details. Welcome back. Now let's take a trip around the patch for some other interesting stories. NASA reestablishes contact with Capstone spacecraft. Capstone is the first mission of NASA's Artemis program, a multi-phase, multi-year endeavor undertaken to return human beings to Earth's moon. Departing Earth from a New Zealand launch site on June 28, 2022, the microwave oven-sized Capstone vehicle thundered spaceward atop a rocket lab launch vehicle. On July 5th, NASA reported that contact with Capstone had been lost. Finally, on Wednesday the 6th of July, engineers raised Capstone on NASA's Deep Space Network and Antenna Array by which the agency maintains communication with and control over its deep space and orbital assets. ALPA on the warpath with DOT, Republic, and SkyWest. ALPA has filed formal opposition against two separate applications before the DOT and FAA asserting that both efforts are blatant attempts to skirt the nation's most effective aviation safety improvements in decades, the first officer qualification rule and will leave the flying public at increased risk. Recently, Republic Airways and SkyWest Airlines filed independent petitions seeking approvals that would diminish pilot training qualifications and experience requirements while putting passengers and small communities that depend on safe, scheduled air service at greater risk. Piling on, Allied Pilots Association voices support for SAS strike. The Allied Pilots Association has voiced support for the pilots of SAS who went on strike on July 4th. 
quote, we strongly support the professional pilots of SAS in exercising their right to strike, and we urge SAS management to address the pilots' legitimate job security concerns, end quote, said APA President Captain Edward Sitcher. Quote, a negotiated settlement to end this strike promptly is in the best interest of all SAS stakeholders, including the pilots, airline management, other employees of the airline, the traveling public, and the airline's code share partners. CAF congratulates Tora 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 crew as it turns 50. The folks at CAF tell us that the pilots and staff that perform as Tora 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 are celebrating a milestone. Tora 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 routine began in 1972 when six replica Japanese aircraft used in the movie of the same name were donated to the CAF. The Gulf Coast Wing requested assignment of the aircraft and began developing an act for presentation at air shows. The act debuted at the Galveston Air Show on June 25, 1972, and is the longest continuously performing non-military air show act in the U.S. That's it for today's trip around the patch. Let's get back to the rest of the news. Scalebirds P-36 radial-engined replica is flying. Scalebirds' Sam Watrous has confirmed that their P-36 replica has now flown a number of times, and outside of the usual teething pains, the P-36 looks to have a bright future. Overall controllability appears promising, and the ground handling also appears to be on target. Instrumentation was a little off, so performance numbers are not yet available. The first flights were conducted by a respected member of the test flying community, Elliot Seguin, noting that, quote, you have a great little airplane here, end quote. The single-seater looks pretty much like the original but unique P-36 and may also serve as a test bed for a future rendition of the P-40, but one of the best assets this bird offers is a true radial sound and feel in terms of the use of the seven-cylinder Werner motor. Watrous notes, quote, it is a Werner motor, seven-cylinder. The engine is a radial engine, direct drive cruise, 1800 RPM, throaty rumble. Lots of torque, 124 horsepower that acts like a 135 or 140 horsepower engine, end quote. The aircraft is destined for kidding, and Sam hopes that the birds will allow for, quote, completed airplanes will be about $65,000, but the average build would probably be about seventy-five to 80000 With normal avionics, nothing crazy, end quote. After these messages, Highway Landings Advance Combat Agility. Pilot Communications USA is proud to introduce our latest headsets, the Carbon A1 Active Noise Reduction and the Carbon P1 Passive Headset. Carbon fiber makes our headsets 30% lighter than others, which significantly reduces pilot fatigue. Our Blue Link hand control unit allows you to connect two devices at the same time, and the record out capability can send audio to an onboard camera or digital recorder. Get the headset that's so light you may forget you're wearing one at pilot-usa.com. Whether you're charting a steady course or pushing for the ceiling, Hartzell Propeller has been elevating flight for over 100 years. It's in our passion for engineering and research. It's in our dedication to testing the limits of performance and creating propellers that are as safe as they are sexy. Now, together with our dedicated family of companies, we're propelling the future of aviation. We are Hartzell Propeller, built on honor. Skyleader Aircraft offers a lineup of the most powerful, durable, and efficient light sport aircraft in the industry. From trainers to roomy cockpits for long hauls, Skyleader has an aircraft for you. And the best part? They're in your budget. Skyleader's base prices are set low to give you room to customize your aircraft to your needs, desires, and wallet, allowing you to put your money where it matters to you most. Visit FlySkyleader.com today to learn about our aircraft, customization options, and chat with the team. Welcome back. Highway Landings Advanced Combat Agility. A number of Air National Guard aircraft, to include A-10 Thunderbolt II, USAF Special Operations Command MC-12W Liberty, C-145A Combat Coyote, U-28 Draco, and USAF Reserve's C-146A Wolfhound landed, took off, and performed integrated combat turns on a closed 9,000-foot section of Michigan Highway 28. The occasion marked the first time integrated combat turns, which enable the quick rearming and refueling of running aircraft, have been conducted on a U.S. public highway. The roadway landings were one of several progressive training scenarios undertaken during the Michigan Air National Guard Northern Agility 22-1 exercise on Michigan's Upper Peninsula. The endeavor underscored the Air Force's Agile Combat Employment Doctrine, which sets out to execute missions quickly and in unpredictable ways. The landing zone was named Hawk LZ in honor of F-16 pilot Major Derwood Hawk Jones, who lost his life in a 2020 training accident in Michigan. 
Northern Agility 22-1 Lead Operations Planner Lt. Col. Brian Wurzakowski expressed gratitude to local Michigan agencies, stating, quote, Northern Agility 22-1 would not be possible without the long-term partnerships that exist between the Michigan National Guard and the Michigan State Police, Michigan Department of Transportation, Alger County Sheriff's Office, and of course, support from our neighbors in the Upper Peninsula, end quote. And that's our show for today. You can catch episodes of Airborne on YouTube, Roku, or Fire TV. Just search for Aero News or Airborne. And don't forget to follow us on social media. Thanks for watching.